Hi there, and you're watching Dukascopy TV today. Right now, I have Ugo Panitza. He is from the Graduate Institute. And today, we're going to have a look at finance and the effects of finance. Has it gone too far, and can it actually be damaging to economies? Well, Ugo, welcome today. Thank you very much. So as you know, many believe finance is, plays a positive role. Now that can be true, but it also can be quite damaging, especially when you know, it's the financial sector is bigger than the GDP. Um, the US is an example of this as the financial sector was six times greater than its nominal GDP. Now, do you agree with a Martin Wolf from the Financial Times, who says instead of being a servant, finance had become the economy's master? Let me backtrack one second and tell you what I found in some of my research and then might be provide an interpretation for, for Martin Wolf's quote. Uh, so what we found, so there is a long uh, research, an economic line of research that shows that finance is actually good for economic growth. And what I did in work with uh, two colleagues at the Graduate Institute, uh, Jean-Louis Arcan and Enrico Berkes, is to check whether there is a point at which the relationship between economic growth and finance, financial development uh, reverts, changes sign. And we found that in fact when, as you said, when the financial sector becomes larger than the economy, this positive relationship between finance and growth becomes negative. So in a sense there is a, we can have too much finance, so the title of our work was called Too Much Finance, and there is a point in which the financial sector becomes so large this actually starts damaging uh, the economy. In a sense, maybe the best way to, to interpret uh, what Martin Wolf has said is related, again, to some work done by, by Simon Johnson, the former chief economist of the IMF, who actually showed that uh, when financial system becomes very large, they start having so much political influence that uh, from at some certain point, politicians make laws which are good for the financial sector and not necessarily good for society. So this is in a sense in which when the financial sector becomes the master rather than a servant of the economy. And besides causing volatility, when the financial sector is too big, it can also cause problems in terms of employment as it can actually steal from productive private sectors. What do you think? Okay, so I, uh, let me just backtrack one second and I get an, a direct answer to your question. So first of all, so we found this result that when financial sectors become too large, they become bad for economic growth. And then we asked why this may be the case. And one answer is what you mentioned is uh, volatility. So large financial sectors are often associated with the banking crisis, which increase macroeconomic volatility and they're bad for economic growth. The other reason is, is what I was mentioning before when talking about master and servants, there is political capture. And so at, at some point, uh, politicians start making laws which are just good for the financial sector. And the third uh, element is what you mentioned, is about the allocation of talents. So uh, for this we don't have evidence for every country in the world, but there is evidence for the United States of America, and this is uh, data that have been collected by a professor at New York University, Thomas Philippon, and with a, with a co-author, and he has showed that actually when the financial sector grows, the uh, average skills of people that work in the financial sector increase more than proportionally, and the pay uh, of the people that work in the financial sector also increase very rapidly. So you end up in a situation in which the uh, most talented graduate from best universities rather than studying engineering and invent new things, they study financial engineering and invent new financial products. And uh, there is a presumption which is you know, hard to test, but again, most people would agree with this, that inventing new products are, has higher social return than inventing new financial products. So in a sense there is evidence, at least for the US, there has been a reallocation of talents which is linked to the growth of the financial industry, which is in turn driven by financial deregulation, which is in turn driven by the political capture that I was mentioning before. And what type of implications does your findings have on financial regulation? So our research suggests that, uh, that financial regulation is good in general. Now. Uh, how research and our work does not have anything to say specifically about certain type of financial regulation. But there is a view which is uh, present in certain circles and was uh, strongly affirmed in an op-ed by Alan Greenspan, the former chairman of the Fed, uh, saying, you know, financial regulation is bad because it will link to a smaller financial sector and then it's bad for economic growth. 
And what our view says, well, be careful in saying this, because in certain countries, the financial sector is actually larger than what the, the level that would maximize economic growth. Therefore, for these countries, having tighter financial regulation might actually increase economic growth rather than reducing economic growth. Thank you very much, Panitza. Thank you. Well, viewers, that is it for right now, but do click back to Dukascopy website for more interesting interviews and press reviews. But for now, goodbye.